Hey guys, Al here. Um, got all the fenders, front fenders made up now. Um, still not done work, so time on this is seldom. Um, so what I've got done here is uh, what I did, the um, splash apron. It used to stop here and I was going to put this on as part of the fender, but um, after looking at it and thinking about it, I just made this, this here section here, part of the splash apron. The fender comes up now and cuts across, joins right into there, and is hooking into the frame. I just have it clicked in now because I've got to work on those uh, braces right there. And figure out how the shocks are going to mount on the side of the frame there. Um, so I have all of the patchwork into the fenders, except for this this fender here. I haven't done where the brace goes yet. I haven't done the uh, the patch. It's just a small patch and weld up a couple holes. So that's where I am on the fenders now. Um, I'll be uh, working on them today. I have the brace started. I had to remake part of the fender brace. Uh, I'll show you that. I have the other fender off and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing with that. So here Okay, so after dropping everything I'm back. Um, so this is the, the fender brace here that I'm working on now. The original piece, this top section here is fine. Uh, just a little surface rust on it But this was the original piece you can see daylight right through it And as you get to the top there's you know It just gets better as you go up, but at the bottom here. It's it's just toast Holes right through all the way along here So instead of using that I just made up new ones. Um, used my bead roller because the uh, this edge here has a curve. I couldn't do it in the brake, so I just used my bead roller and found the right curve that I needed and just rolled the flanges in there and just uh, basically took a piece of paper and found out what the distance was around this hump, and that's where I. How I got this and I just rolled it over top of a piece of uh, one inch bar and it worked out perfect so I have to rework where it bolts onto the frame so that's what I'm doing here because I'm not going to use all this flange to hold the fender um, that flange is probably going to stay there but uh, I, it's not uh, going to support the fender so um, what I'm doing is making a bracket here and uh, on the original bracket they did not leave a spot for the water to run out the bottom I'm not gonna make that mistake um, so these here are gonna actually have four bolts two and two uh, just quarter 20 so that's all I need for this and uh, I'm gonna weld this in I'm gonna put a, a brace up in here like a flat plate up inside where the fender mounts on it just to keep it square so that's what I'm working on now this one this fender here I had to replace a whole section of tin underneath this brace the other one's not that bad uh, it turned out great actually um, I just cut the piece both pieces together I, I laid a patch over top of it and just cut around the patch and welded it in nice and slow uh, tack here, tack there, until I had it fully welded. Ground it down and it turned out nice. So somewhere in here, behind this brace, is where the shock is going to go. And I'm going to end up needing to cut some of this out. So that I can get it to fit around the, uh, the old Ford hydraulic shocks that I'm using. Now, when they had the original fenders, these braces were just riveted on. I don't want that, so it's going to become a permanent piece of this fender. So I've got to take it apart. I'm just going to do it all in 415 inside. Uh, 
with the brace. That way I shouldn't have an issue. I'll be dead before it is an issue. Then it's somebody else's problem. So with the shocks, what I've figured out if I can find one here. Okay, I'm back with the parts. So this ball here is the original position of where the shock mounts onto the front axle. And I've got to change that. Because that brace on the fender is exactly in the same spot. And they're gonna there's no way I can do that. So I'm going to just cut this off weld it down underneath of the uh, wishbone so it's clear of everything uh, I've got to make it in the right spot and then I'm going to mount the shock on the side of the frame here and uh, then the shock will be behind the fender brace which is going here out of the way of the steering linkage which is here so it's going to have to be back here somewhere. I just got to find the exact spot. <clears throat> find the exact spot so that it clears everything. Because I do not want it back here too far. Um, I'll lose travel on it, but it'll gain leverage. So the closer to the front I have it, the better I'm going to like it. The better it's going to work for what it's got to do. Huh. And looking at this, I just thought of another way I might be able to do this. That looks pretty good there, too. Got to find out exactly where the fender, where I might be able to put this right there. Come to think of it, that might even be better. So, see, I got a lot of figuring out to do. I, I think things through, and then all of a sudden, sitting here looking at it, you come up with a totally new plan. So once I get the brace in place, I can play with the shocks, but um, I, ha I have to put the brace where it's got to go to support the fender, or it's just going to keep cracking from vibration. So that's got to be right, and then the shock, I can deal with that. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. So this has got to come off no matter what, because it's going to interfere with everything. So I'll cut that off, clean it all up, and then I can reuse this. I can weld it on anywhere I need to put it. Because it's a tapered hole in here. Because it's a tapered hole for this here, it's tapered like a, a tie rod end would be. Um, and it's got to be straight up and down so wherever I put it the geometry of it's got to be right the further back here towards the back I put it the less effective it's going to be the further out here I can get it the better it's going to be so once I get these fenders braces in and know exactly where they're going to be I'll be able to, now that I know how I'm doing the shocks or what shocks I'm going to use, uh, I just got to find out the right spot and where I can move this to. So, yeah. Now, another thing on these uh, splash aprons here. I used to have a lip that come down here and out underneath the wood for the running board. But I thought that about this and uh, any debris, dirt, sand, whatever would get down between the wood and just sit on that lip. So I took a piece of uh, flat bar, welded it right here where the, at the height of the wood. So the wood will be at this height when it's finished. And then I'm going to put a little tiny spacer between this and the wood and screw from the back into the wood to tie everything together and then any debris can go down in between the spacers. I'll probably just use like a, a stainless steel washer or something like that to, just to space it out enough that water that gets on there has got somewhere to go. Uh, dirt, leaves, whatever. 
I did the same with the front fenders. Um, I used to have a lip right here that came, it used to come down and out and just sit flat on that, uh, on the framing for the running board. But again, the same thing, dirt and stuff would have piled up in here and nowhere for it to go. So I just cut that lip off, welded a couple brace, uh, little brackets under here and I can just bolt it on now. And all the dirt and debris can come out between the wood and the end of the fender. And that's as far as I've gotten so far. Got a couple weeks now to play. Well, except for a couple hours. Uh, I gotta go in Monday. But I got a couple weeks to play with it without going to work, so. Hopefully I can get um, the front fenders completely finished, the shocks figured out and started on the doors by the time uh, I gotta go back to work. Okay, I'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Please uh, subscribe, leave a comment, like, share with anybody and everybody. I'd like to get my subscriber list up. I'm up to 31, I'd like to see 100 by next year. So just let everybody know. Thanks for watching. Back with more later. Bye.